Good morning, everyone. How are you on this blessed Thursday morning? Well, today is my day off. It's um, 11.30 a.m. right now. And um, I had an early doctor's appointment this morning for 9.45. Um, which I had to go to since I've been I had rescheduled it like three times already um, I am so exhausted I got up this morning after doing a double last mm -hmm. night I did a double shift and uh, I didn't get enough rest but I had to keep this appointment so I went and now I um, came by my mechanic and I've been waiting here for the past hour because you know what's going on? My my Jeep has been giving me a little problem. Um, and every time I come by him so he can hear the ruckus that's going on in the back there, suddenly start working. <laughs> so I'm out here, you know, sitting in the car so it can get cold again. So it's like when he initially starts it, it sounds as if like you're carrying a load in the back and something compressing and it's making that noise or like a helicopter sound and um, when it gets warm up after a while it stops so I'm gonna sit my butt here because he has to hear the sound today today's my day off I'm working the weekend so this is the only time that I have and I'm dying to sleep I got up this morning just wash my face, take a nice hot shower, and just put on my eyebrow pencil because you know I have no eyebrows. So that's the only thing I did and went to this silly compensation doctor. I don't know, you guys are not aware, most of you, that I was out from my job for two years because I got hurt on the job. I was um, responding to a fire drill with the fire extinguisher running up the stairs and I fell down the stairs. I missed my steps and I fell down the stairs. So I had fractured my knee and my shoulder. I hurt both shoulders, my knee, my back, my neck. And um, just trying to cope. I was out doing therapy for, for a while and um, it was okay. It didn't really do much for me, but that is the reason why I'm so I'm always trying like different things to help me with my pain the turmeric tea the ginger and um, just trying to take one day at a time okay so I'm just here waiting for my car to get cold so my mechanic can drive it and hear finally what I've been complaining about because I don't know if he thinks that I'm making up story he, you know, <laughs> just to come and see him for no reason. Okay, my mechanic is a pastor, very nice guy, mm -hmm. always pulling my leg, you know. But um, he's cool. I um, my ex-husband had bought this car for me um in 2001, so that's what I left with. Everything else is not is is gone. But you know something guys materialistic things doesn't matter I may have lost my home my house and um, everything else of value that I had I walked away and I left it all to him yes I did yes I did because let me tell you something a peace of mind is precious so precious peace of mind is the best thing and um, just try to just live stress free as possible meaning my little 4x4 four four now I am very happy starting from scratch but I'm happy rather than coming home to stress and being degraded and all those stuff women we go through so much we go through so much and we should not tolerate we should not tolerate these things if you're in an unhappy relationship or marriage don't stay because of the kids you got to try and help yourself 
try and make yourself happy get away from the situation because it's not worth it it's really not because I didn't think that I could have done it on my own you know like oh my god I've been with this guy since high school high school is like you grew up with this person over 25 years and it just didn't work out I mean it wasn't a bad marriage we had good times but sometimes people I guess just go mm. apart and things happen and you would think you know this person for all this time and then you turned out to be enemies see you guys I'm done